Hey there everyone, another progress update video. Um, this one is actually focusing more on the um, the internals um, and some editor uh, changes. Um, there have been a, a couple of performance changes, but um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll focus on some of the changes and fixes I've made for some long standing bugs, uh, reported bug so let's get into it. Um, and you wouldn't have noticed this, but when the app first loads, um, there's no more, or there's no longer a, a stutter when it loads the first um, view of the last theme that you had visited. Um, there were some performance issues there. Uh, let's see. Um, I want to go into some of the, yeah, let's do this. Let's go into theme components and and when you're switching themes now, um, it's a lot faster too. There's some performance enhancements that have been made. So what I want to do, I want to take this glass um, surface collection of um, elements here, copy. Just want to go to some, I don't know, any any view really. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go to something that's defined as, well, there you go, a totally different aspect ratio. Okay. And let's see, I want to paste it here. Um, and that actually pasted the elements extremely quickly. And one of the issues was taking elements from one theme defined at one aspect ratio and pasting them into another theme with a totally different aspect ratio, um, or even copying pasting elements within the same theme or view in the editor that has an aspect ratio other than stretch. There were issues with that where the elements would be pasted, uh, not where you wanted them pasted. Um, even if you said paste in place, it would paste them somewhere totally different. That's all corrected, okay? So um, as you can see, um, yeah, this is working just fine. Um, if I moved it to the correct Z order, like that, okay. So this is working just fine. It works very, very quickly. Again, if I hit cut and then I hit paste in place, it works just fine and it's, and it's quick. And again, you know, this was a, a long running issue with um, editing views in an aspect ratio other than stretch. All right. Um, so let's come out of here. Um, another internal change is how data is written. Uh, or how your views or uh, projects are actually stored on your spinning drive or SSD. Um, I've seen this issue myself, um, and it's been reported by at least two other people. And they have two. They they utilize SSDs um, to uh, when they when they use the community theme creator. Um, sometimes. Um, 
the project files can actually be corrupted um, and obviously unusable. Um, so you've you've lost all your your hard work. Um, I've seen this a couple of times, and I was never able to really kind of track down the root cause, other than look at the method that I was using to write this data um, to the files. Um, and there's a deferred write. So I've, I've used a different method now across the application when uh, writing files now. Um, but also as a safeguard, I have um, allowed, so let's, I mean, any, it doesn't really matter which theme I go into, but so for example, plain and simple, if I were to uh, punch up File Explorer and uh, let's see, go to desktop and go to plain and simple, all right, and I'll just stay here. I'm going to edit this one, edit, and let's say I just, I hit save, okay, no big deal. Now, if I go back to File Explorer, what it's done, it created, before it saved the file and overwrote the existing data, it created a .back file, okay, and then saved the data. So... As you can see, it's got the original uh, last modification date of 8-26-2022 when this was last saved. All right, so there's the original, and here's the new version here, okay? So um, I've thrown that in there just for good measure. Not to say that um, data will be corrupted. Uh, like I said, I've used a different method now, writing data. Uh, so that will be uh, an issue of the past. But in the case that you may have accidentally, inadvertently hit the save button uh, and you made a lot of changes and you're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now at least you have a back file and um, you can utilize that. You can rename it um, and uh, get back to a, pr a prior image. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, what else did I do? What else did I do? What else did I do? And there was one more thing, and I did this mainly for the wheel item templates, but I've rolled it out across everything. Um, actually, no, I'll stay in plain and simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go to custom images. Um... one yeah i believe it's this one let's take a look it's a shame i don't have a before and after um but you may or may not notice that the image inside the metal ring the silver ring is no longer stretched okay let's see if i can pick a different platform and and kind of prove this out um, uh, windows. Yeah, I mean, anything really. There you go. I mean, this isn't stretched. Um, yeah. So what I've done <clears throat> is I have this um, I have this stack. I've got this grid. Come on. Where are you? Silver ring. I've forgotten where I put all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's below. I'm sorry. So within this grid, where I can display the gameplay or different versions of gameplay or game title or game box um, in a layered manner. Um, so if one doesn't exist, the other one will display and so on and so forth. Um, what I've done 
I've encapsulated all these different uh, game images with inside this grid, okay? So that's nothing new. However, you can actually add an opacity mask now um, to a grid and canvas UI element. And you can do that for, um, as you can see here, for uh, custom images, uh, wheel item uh, templates and views themselves. So the grid has taken on a circular uh, opacity mask and then everything within it is now contained within a within a perfect circle all right so that's the these are some additional properties that i've added to both grid and canvas the way i was doing it before was allowing uh, an opacity mask to be added to an image and the uh, the downside to that is the image had to be set to stretched and of course the image being displayed here within the opacity mask was being stretched. So um, it looked a bit off. So now it's totally fine because it's keeping its internal aspect ratio, but contained within a perfect circle. All right. And I think it looks pretty cool. All right. So again, you know, these are some of the internal changes I've made or had made before I went down with COVID. Um, and now I'm fine. And I've got a three day weekend. So it will be back to wheel item templates and um, making some progress uh, with the wheels again. Um, just some subtle changes here. I've changed the, the menu to be three dots instead of the hamburger menu style. It still displays the same menu. Uh, just added a chevron in here for the theme manager or theme selection. Um, same with the editor property windows here. Again, I've changed it to a three dots uh, to signify that you can click present a menu, okay, nothing major here. It's mainly be internal, uh, but again, performance enhancements is critical. Um, uh, just some crazy bugs, more importantly, just some of the editor issues when operating in a, in a aspect ratio other than stretch was causing some weird, uh, weird, um, well, it was just weird stuff, um, moving stuff around, uh, copy paste, cut paste. Yeah, it was just very strange. So those have all been uh, corrected. Um, let's see, I'll go into this one. I still have the other elements. Do, do I? Yep, I still have the glass surface. Yeah. So as you can see, it didn't kind of paste in a weird position or anything like that, you know. So that was all good. And <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, the video in here is stretched. So this could ultimately use um, an opacity mask uh, for a grid and then have the, the video um, retaining its original um, aspect ratio within it so it wouldn't be stretched. I mean, that's something that could be done anyway. But um, yeah, like I said, just more kind of internal changes. Um, um, and uh, some fixing some very obscure um, bugs. That's where I stand right now. And like I said, um, I'm going to get back to uh, wheel item templates and hopefully finish that off uh, so we can get a lot closer to um, uh, releasing this build. All right. So that's it for a very 
you know, quick overview of some of the changes um, made in this uh, in this particular build. Um, hopefully, I will have a lot more to show you uh, next weekend. All right. So take care, everyone. I'll see you next weekend.